Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Scylla for Developers. I'm very excited today because this is the first of a series of videos dedicated to creating a CRUD application. We're actually going to create a small to-do app using ScyllaDB for our database, Node.js for our backend, and also React for our frontend. Today we're going to create a small backend service using Node.js and Express. So let's get started. All right, so uh, today we're gonna make a simple to-do app. We're gonna make a server and a front end. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the server. Uh, so I'm gonna make a new directory server. We're gonna move to that directory and initialize a new Node.js application by typing npm in it. Okay, so inside the server, I'm gonna install some of the dependencies. So npm install express and uh, .env. Uh, we're gonna be using express for our Node.js application and uh, I'm also going to uh, create a folder, SRC, um, and have an index.js inside my SRC folder. All right, touch SRC slash index.js. Okay, um, I actually am gonna install another dependency, NodeMon, that is gonna let, make my life a little bit easier uh, because it's gonna help us in um, showing our changes directly without um, restarting the node engine. Okay, cool. Let's go uh, to the index file here. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do is to import express. Uh, let me just get rid of this uh, terminal here. Okay, so uh, let's import express from express. And uh, let's create a constant named app that is gonna be a new instance of express and define our get middleware. So app.get, I'm gonna mount it on slash and um, write my callback functions or request and response. And uh, all it's gonna do for now is send a JSON file uh, with message and the message is gonna be welcome to Scylla. Okay, uh, let's make sure that uh, we're also listening to a port. Um, okay, so I'll need to define the object const port 3001. Um, also need to define my callback function. And uh, all we're gonna do is console log listening. Oh, let me use backticks here. So listening to HTTP localhost 3001. Oh, but uh, I have a port, so I'm gonna use the dollar sign here and just have the port object. Okay, so another thing, I'm gonna change my package JSON uh, to run dev, and in dev, I'm gonna run nodemon src slash index.js. So in my terminal, when I type um, the command npm run dev, it's gonna run nodemon src index.js. Okay, cool. So uh, let me copy this URL. In, and it looks like it's working, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and create an API and I'm gonna name my API items.js and I'm gonna import express from express. Okay, require express, oh, stringify express. And then uh, I'm gonna use the router, so I'm gonna create a router uh, constant here uh, that is gonna come from express.router. And um, I'm gonna also define a middleware, uh, and my get handler here. Uh, and then I'm gonna mount on slash again and um, have my callback function. So again, what I'm gonna do here is just return a simple uh, JSON object that says message with um, uh, get all items. Okay, so let me write that down, get all items. Okay, uh, and the other thing that I'm gonna do, I will need to export my router. So module.exports equals router. Cool, so then another uh, file that I'm gonna create is uh, index.js uh, in my API. And here I'm gonna import express from express. I'm going to uh, once again use a router. So const router is gonna be equal to express.router. 
And I'm also going to import uh, items. Um, so const items from items. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, define my get handler and write my callback function and return a JSON file that says a message welcome to API. Okay, pretty straightforward so far. And what I'm going to do also is to use um, item and mount it in slash items. Let's export our router module dot exports router. Okay, so let's get back to our original index file. And here I'm going to import uh, the API. So const API require API. And um, we're also going to add our middleware to our app. Okay, use API and mount it in slash API. So which means that every time we type localhost 3001 slash API, then we should be able to see it. Oh, um, what happened here? Oh, I think I, for, yeah, so cannot find module API. It's not, yeah, I made a mistake there. There you go. Now it's working. Welcome to API. And if we try api.item slash items, then we have get all items. So, so far, so good. Uh, we're going to go a step further here. Um, but we're going to have some dummy data. Uh, so some items here um, with that is going to have an ID. So an ID of one and uh, it's also going to have a name and the name is going to be by groceries. Okay. And also a third object completed, which is going to be a Boolean that basically is going to tell us whether the, uh, the, um, item was completed or not. So here completed false. Okay. Um, and, um, we're just going to make one for now just to try it out and we're going to return it in our JSON. Okay. So we're going to return items. Uh, there you go. In this video, we saw how to make a small backend service using Node.js and Express. In the next video, we will create a React application and connect it to our backend service. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.